let's first start talking about you. Tell me a little bit about where you grew up, who you are, about your family. Uh, I grew up in uh, St. Louis County, North County, Florissant. Um, mom, dad, one sister, and three brothers. Um, kind of we and we lived in the part of St. Louis County that was basically our house backed up to uh, whether it was a cornfield or a wheat field, depending on on what the farmer decided to plant that year. So we we kind of had the county and city kind of life together because behind after the field was a wooded area and creeps and that gave us you know a chance to get out outside the neighborhood and play and you know be kids and where did you go to school i went to school at, in the hayeswood school district although my um, junior year i went to a school called north county tech which was technical high school and i went to school for uh, what they called that back then was data processing you learned how to program computers using uh, I guess you had COBOL and RPG. Um, those were the, the two main uh, languages that we learned to program in. What do you do now? Uh, I, I have a w wide variety of what I would consider myself as a stay-at-home dad, a farmer. I um, am a landlord. We own rental property. We I also sell at the farmer's market. I go every, eh, just about every weekend and do uh, Saturdays, being my two boys. My wife usually works. And uh, I'm also a part-time employee of a McDonald's. Actually, several McDonald's in town. All right. And with that, how does that experience um, help you, um, make you well-suited to represent District 19? Uh, well, District 19 is a large district. You've got, as a farmer, um, I, I kind of have an idea of what farmers are facing. While it, we have a good mix of both rural and urban and being from an urban area and now living in a rural area i i have an idea of what the daily lives of people how they you know perceive life whether you're a farmer or whether you live in town i also being both a business owner and employee i get both perspectives of the owner and in, as an employee and i can i get to see both sides of several issues now let's move into your, your candidacy specifically. Okay. What's it like being a third party candidate? Um, you don't you don't get quite the respect that you you that the other two parties will get, and I, I hate to use the word respect, but um, you, you don't get quite the coverage as the other two parties. They're the quote unquote main main two parties. Although the Liber Libertarian Party is the is an official party in in Missouri, state of Missouri. Uh, some of your other parties, the Constitution Party, the Green Party, those parties actually have to collect signatures in order to get onto the ballot. So we're actually a recognized party by the state of Missouri. Is that frustrating that you that you don't get the same type of coverage as the main two parties? Yes, uh, you know you like to get your point of view out and give people the opportunity to see other than as one may call right or left and I don't claim to be in the center of right and left I have feelings that will go both right and left how how is running a small business um, help prepare you for the state center you have to you deal with a budget you deal with you know this is how much you got coming in this is how much you have to to spend on whether your feed costs or buying more. Um, I'm a livestock farmer, so whether you're going to buy more livestock, if you're going to be able to buy new equipment, you've got so you've got a budget issue. You have. Um, I, I think that's your main issue is your budget issue. But you've got you've got costs. You've got overhead. You, there's a lot to, you know, the, the constant bookkeeping, uh, collecting of receipts. It's it's. Um, it's it's quite a task. It's it's um it's really easy to be a uh, I hate to say real easy, but it's a lot easier to be an employee than an owner. Okay, let's let's talk about some of the issues that are okay. important to you. What do you see as some of the big issues facing District 19? Well, um, 
I think one of the biggest issues coming coming up and coming our way is going to be economic issues. Um, you know, a couple of things that I am I want to focus on is taxes, and actually, um, I would really like to see us do away with the uh, income tax. We can first work on the state, and then and then work at fair level, and then obviously you'd have to go move from a income tax to a, a sales tax and um, it, it can be done and, and it's it's an idea that is starting to grow how do you do it how do you do it um, I you know what I don't have all the answers on that the um, there is a group a coalition that um, that I will be I'm not, it's just kind of new it's a fair tax um, we just had our first meeting last week, and we'll be focused on getting how do we get from a sales tax or from a income tax to a sales tax. 